November is a very charged month. Lots of changes happen in November. Most countries, I think, hold a remembrance for their First and Second World War veterans in November. Then again, the Berlin Wall came down in November. But this November, President Barack Obama went on a visit to China and in a joint interview with the Chinese President Hu Jintao, he stated that the U.S. recognizes Tibet as part of China, but the Chinese government should hold direct talks with the Dalai Lama. For me, this is appeasing the bully. Yes, the government of China is a bully. And for President Obama to wash away the rights of the Tibetan people is betrayal. I doubt it that I would feel so betrayed if former President Bush had said this. But this was the man who promised change. And I hope that change was going to be standing up for the week instead of standing up with what is most convenient. I know there's a group of people who think Obama was making China talk to the, the Dalai Lama or pressuring China to talk to the Dalai Lama. But this is a misconception. It's a very dangerous misconception. First of all, you cannot appease a bully. If you appease him, he's just going to ask for more and more. If you say to China, Tibet is part of China, but give it autonomy, China will say, no autonomy, just special rights maybe. And then you say, okay, special rights. Then it will say, no, no special rights. That's too much. We'll give, let them talk about the Dalai Lama. So that's the attitude of a bully. And you can't appease a bully. Appeasing a bully is letting him walk all over you. That's why I believe Obama can't even pretend to play that I'm making the peace game. I believe that only Tibetans have the right to say what Tibet is or what Tibet is part of. Tibetans are saying Tibet is independent, then that's what Tibet is. Only Tibetans have the right to determine its future. And this leads me to a question. Um, should good guys of the world follow the path of Obama and appease? an evildoer so they could maybe get something out of them by appeasing them making them happy or should the good guys stand up for what their values are and keep fighting however hard the battle may be should my people the Tamil people make deals with the Sri Lankan government so they would be allowed to live as slaves or should they fight back, stand up and say what they believe in. Answer me.